and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mage Seeker Lux. Going to bring this deck back. We played it five days ago. We went 5-0. Our deck felt really, really powerful. And in my opinion, it kind of felt like a better deck than Heimerdinger plus uh, Vi, which a lot of people are playing Heimerdinger plus Vi, thinking that deck is really great. And I thought I thought this one felt better to me. It could be like my play style and everything like that. And you know, now that I'm saying that, we're probably going to go, um, you know, 0 and 5, because <laughs> that's how it goes. But um, but yeah, I really liked this one. So you know, like we're looking for Remembrance. This is this is like the card that we're trying to get. Uh, be able to play this on turn three because then we will we'll have cast a six cost spell and so our mage seeker insider um, will be a six five the investigator will create a detain for us and the persuader will be a four three challenger all incredible cards for their mana cost um, but we need to play the remembrance first we also have the backup plan of just heimerdinger with a bunch of spells and, you know, Heimerdinger with, like, Flash of Brilliance. We know how good that is. So we got that backup plan in here. Um, and, uh, you know, then we can also have Unyielding Spirit on either of our champions. And I guess, uh, you know, Lux is, like, backup plan number three, I guess, after the Mage Seekers and Heimerdinger. <laughs> so pretty powerful deck. Um, it's slower. Not very good against Burn. Thankfully, last time we didn't play against any Burn. Hopefully we don't this time either. So we're going to go play five games over in ranked and see how we do. That's the plan. Okay, deep deck. Our deck's not very fast. So that could give them time to set up and everything. Mulligan pretty aggressively for Remembrance. A lot of these cards just don't matter in the opening hand. Yeah, Radiant Guardian would help out the burn matchup. Playing some number of Radiant Guardians over Grizzled Ranger and Mage Seeker Insider. Like taking out some of these for for Radiant Guardians and trying to set up Radiant Guardian plus single combat. That would help out the burn matchup. Um, another thing that would help out would be... Oh, that was loud. Another thing that would help out would be... I don't know, maybe, maybe Inventor's Apprentice is the name of the card. I can't think of the name of the card. Um, and it's the PNZ two mana card, Eager Apprentice, I think. PNZ two mana card. Them out. Um, whenever you play it, refill two spell mana. Because that card, the reason why is because you can play that card on turn two and try to block and trade with, at least trade with a one drop, and then uh, still have Remembrance on turn three. Could, you could definitely play a Purify in here. Absolutely. I would not mind drawing a Heimerdinger. If we can kind of choose what, what we want to draw. I would not mind a Heimerdinger. Very good hand for them. Yeah, really good hand for them. It's exactly what you want whenever you're playing the deep deck. You want this card, this card, you want Jettison. This one's not a bad blocker either. So good hand. Card's going to be dying anyway. I'll just do it. You know, have that die whenever they're at 20. All right, come on, Heimerdinger. No. Not Heimerdinger. Um. Here we go.
the, the Grizzled Ranger, how it always says, like, pack your bags. I always kind of think of, um, is it Rocket Man by Alan John? Uh, pack your bags part. Stay safe, Milady. Mages are everywhere. Oh, uh, don't you worry about me. Don't you worry about me. I want to give my, myself one last chance to try to draw a Heimerdinger, but I guess I should have just done this before this went deep. I should have just last turn played the two Flash of Brilliances. Okay. And, you know, got the final spark. Do have the mana to play Remembrance and Mage Seeker Persuader and Mystic Shot. Obviously, if they have Nautilus, this is going to be a big problem for me. Just, just hope they don't have Nautilus. That's a good sign. That likely means no Nautilus. Alright, we're going to transform you into you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Put an end. You can't outrun justice. There are four. Protect the Marcia. I want to mystic shot them. But we're gonna throw a giant beam, kill this abyssal eye. Get out of here. All right, you want to play anything? No? All right. Would it help if I apologized? Very powerful, as you can see. Lux is pretty good. Lux is pretty, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> so I want turn three remembrance. I want to keep one, but then, you know, it's like, do I keep the Heimerdingers? I'm supposed to keep Heimerdinger. Ugh. Wish I would have mulliganed it. So if they have the card Deny. Deny. That will be bad for me. Let 
Good, no denying. GG's Drew. Fast as wind, light as air. GG's. Okay. Alright, so we start um Yeah, we can start having that plus Heimerdinger next turn. If I don't play anything this turn. Let's pass. If if we want to just go to next turn and they just don't spend any mana, I'm fine with that. All right, they want to spend some mana. I'll take that. Because we could have a good turn next turn with Heimerdinger plus Flash of Brilliance plus Thermogenic Beam. Possibly. Vanguard Redeemer. Cool card. Gonna be patient. I wanna set up this this turn as we talked about. Hybridinger. Uh Flash of Brilliance, Thermogenic Beam. Tread lightly. All right, there's Heimerdinger. Hmm. Water gone. Opponent's taking a while. I could probably go refill. Progress waits for no one. cards we can play. Getting Lux in play is nice to have the barrier for next turn, Heimerdinger. May have to wait one extra turn. If I do cast Thermogenic Beam, you know, I want to have you know, I want to have eight mana total whenever I play this Heimerdinger uh, to be able to have the barrier. That's the ideal scenario. I could go get some new water. One girl wrecking crew. So if I attack with, it, it's not a free attack with Lux. Because if I attack with Lux, they like Mystic Shot, Lux, you know, block with Vi and Mystic Shot. It's dead. Like we can't actually attack with that. Alright, well I'm going 
to get this thumbnail going. Perfect. Um, yeah, I play on mobile a, a decent amount. Um, not not necessarily like every day. But yeah, that's definitely something like later at night. Um, or sometimes early in the morning. Sometimes getting up, you know, like when you don't really want to leave, uh, leave bed yet. I'll uh, play some on mobile. So this puts me down to eight. They're going to have eight damage of burn spells to kill me. I mean, it's certainly possible. Kind of awkward. I got five mana, it costs six to level up Lux. Sure hope they don't have, you know, the get excited and mystic shots to kill me. Another Heimerdinger? Nothing but rotating mirrors and projected lights. Oldest trick in the book. Sounds pretty awkward. Oh, that is so good for me. I'll protect you. They're not doing the get excited at me. That's why it's good. That's all right. <laughs> I'm at eight. <laughs> I can't have Heimerdinger or die. I'm I'm, I'm at eight. I wish we had one more mana though. For so many reasons, you know, like one more mana to level up Lux, one more to kill their Heimerdinger or their Vi or their Solitary Monk. Just one more mana. How do I spend seven mana so I can do a three mana thermogenic beam? I guess it's just Heimerdinger plus Mage Seeker Persuader. Another Heimerdinger? Nothing but rotating mirrors and projected lights. Oldest trick in the book. Yeah, so this Persuader is a good draw. Kind of the right, the right amount of mana that I need. Hmm. I 
Alright, so this keeps them from getting the 8-8. I still get the final spark. I can use the final spark to kill Vi. Um, do I need to kill the 4 3? What do I kill? Vi or a 4 3? Because if I kill the Vi, the 3 1s. You know, I guess I can block the 4-3, I take 3, go down to 5. If I kill the 4-3, then Vi kills Heimerdinger. That's probably okay. Hey, Cabo. This is the safest play. And I want to trade because I don't want them to get like a static shock, kill my thing, and then hit me for three with this. That's a great draw. play progress day I don't actually make the 8-8 because I don't have room. Fine. Alright, their vice leveled up. Planning on playing Vanguard Redeemer this turn, I think. I mean, I, I want my Persuader to take out their Vi. That's what I want. Our ancestors are watching. Bleh. That card's not good. And I'm going the Persuader instead of a Mage Seeker Investigator, so that I have four mana still for the beam. So I can try beam first. So like if they have, you know, if they have like a barrier or whatever, they have to use the barrier right now. And then I can untap and use Persuader. It's also 15 damage if I challenge with the zero power thing and attack with all these. And I can also go, we can also go Detain Route. We could go for Demacia and pump all this stuff up. We got some options. Let's go for Demacia. <laughs> yeah, un, un, is, there, is there a different word for untap? What's, um, how, how would you say untap in this game? Because, yeah, you don't... Oh, no. Because you don't actually tap things. It's a good quality... Uh, good quality word, though. It's a fun one to say. Untap. Tapped out. So, for those of y'all that don't know what that means, I feel like it basically... No, they got the free 3 2. Basically, we're talking about mana. Um, untapping means you go to the next turn and you gain your full assessment of mana available again. 
the next turn. Magic must be stopped before it spreads. So that's that's the reference. And so tapped out means like I'm I'm almost tapped out, you know, I have just the one mana basically tapped out right now. We will not hesitate. I see all. You have no alibi. So if they go Lifesteal Barrier on the Vi... Oh, I don't have the two mana for the single combat! No, I had a whole plan! I, should, I shouldn't have played that Investigator. I had a plan. I was gonna have the... I was gonna single combat my 4-3, fight their 3-2, but yeah, I, I... Should not have tapped out. Let's just save this mana. You simply just say out of mana. Yeah, see, tapped out is shorter. Quicker. Hmm. people outside hey, right in front of the house look at the yard working the people that work on the yard for the neighbor just parked in front of my, my house because they have too many cars And so yeah, I guess the reason why is yeah, because of physical cards, you you tap your lands in magic, you tap your lands to show that you uh, use them to produce mana. And so if you've tapped all of your lands, you're tapped out and you're going to the first thing you do at the beginning of each turn is untap all permanents in play. Since that's where that comes from. Harvey, Harvey. They're just right in front of my house. So I guess I didn't realize that, that was going to happen. The whole, it striked while it was in combat, so it dealt damage to me. I should have detained. Yeah, I didn't really realize that was going to happen like that. I mean, that's that's the wording on the card, so yeah, I, I uh, that's my fault. Yeah, I mean, that, that's my fault. I lost that game. I did not realize that was going to work like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's an interaction that makes sense in hindsight. So it makes sense in hindsight. Yep. I mean, if I if I just detained first, would have been fine. 
still basically count that as a win. If I, yeah, now that I know like how that works, I mean, obviously we lost, but uh, I mean, we could have easily won that game. I was thinking that I wanted to do the single combat. You know, I, I just didn't know that that's how that card worked, of course. Um, I'm gonna put the I'll put the dogs in the other room. Come on, Harvey. So they're probably going to deny this. Seems like, oh no, they didn't. Hooray. <laughs> the dogs were warning me to detain instead of single combat. So I wanted single combat so that then if they use like removal to break that up, then I'd have the detain afterwards. Um, but yeah, obviously, if I knew that's how Vi worked, I would have done it the other way. Because I I knew I couldn't take five damage because that would, like being at three was just too vote like that's that's a life total I couldn't be at. That's how I lost my first game with this deck. Cause remember we were five zero last time, won our first one. So I guess that's how we lost our very first game with this deck. Katarina is not a good play to. Not a good card to play on turn three. They'll never know what it's a real big tempo loss. Putting that back in the hand. Gosh, Harvey's so loud. So I could play the Grizzled Ranger and then we get the two attacks. Um, but we'll go with the... Hmm. I was going to say we'll go with the Companion and then make a 6-5. What's up, Topher? Thanks for the big raid. Welcome, everybody. From Topher Stream. I don't know. Can y'all can y'all hear Harvey barking? Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Sleep uh. for the guiltless. All right, we're gonna kill this thing. All right, be right back. Sorry, yeah, mic muted. My bad. Uh, basically, they're just in my room now. Then, you know, Harvey was just basically at the back door barking at people at the back door. Still, and so just they're just in my room right now. While these lawn people are around the neighbor's house. Oh, 
shining. We should too. We should too. Yeah, Katarina, that blade. Yep, that blade turning the 5-5 five five into a 5-4 a opened up that ravenous flock. Okay, Bilgewater board. All right. Gucci changed the board for the Bilgewater board. We will change it up next. Da, la, 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 la. I will play my part. <clears throat> so they don't want to go Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot. And then what, they play Katarina, I can single combat, and then that's the six mana for Lux. I knew I should have trusted you. I could have told you that. I'll just have this thing fight. Instead of my Lux fighting. Doesn't mean they're gonna attack me at this 3-2 right now. And so I'm gonna go to the 14. Because it's just a free attack, because it's gonna die. A beacon through the dark. Probably have Yone, but maybe not. <clears throat> I could have just attacked for five immediately and just taken the five damage, but I'm gonna go for a lot higher upside. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Time to get rowdy. Ah, uh, boo. I suppose. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. What seems to be the problem? Maybe I do What's up, Mr. Q? I'm doing good. And Kendis, greetings. Follow the wind, but watch your back. Yep, doing good. How are all, how are how's uh, everybody else doing? Dang. They're stunning over there. So this thing's leveled up already. Um, I won't stand by. Underestimate. I dare you. Round and round and round it goes. Wow, you play a floor be gone and you get an evolution turret? Is that how that works? <laughs> That's what it looked like. Oh yeah, this deck's really good. Yeah, I, I just lost that last game only because I didn't know how Vi worked. Honestly, that's the only reason why I lost that previous game. Time to get rowdy. But yeah, I really, really like this deck. That, that's the, my first loss of the game. I just didn't realize that 
I mean, it makes sense. It makes complete sense afterwards, but I, I use single combat with a leveled up Vi in combat. And, you know, so the Vi struck, so it dealt five damage to me. And so afterwards, it, it makes sense that's how the card works. But. I didn't realize that, that that at the time, and that that was the five damage that killed me. I could have, I, I had detain. I could have used detain. Wow. Wow. Twenty-two, twenty-two. Negotiations are over. This is my choice. It's gonna take me a minute to to kill some twenty. You know, twenty-two, nineteen, and sixteen, eleven. It's gonna take a little bit. Take some time. Hmm. I'll just kill this thing. Get a T hex. the spot for the T-Hex. We're in, we're in Master Rank. The problem with playing something is like, you know, is again like Yone. Shoot! Hmm. Was years in the making. I 
Well, that's unfortunate. That's a good card. Mina Swiftfoot could be a huge problem. Remember your training. That's a good sign. This place reeks of foul magic. Rude. Yeah, purify would would not be bad to have. I'm gonna try to detain the Minotaur with my three one with my three four. And then if this works, we make a five one. And we attack. Next turn. I didn't quite work. Stand back. I'll contain the threat. Who's the threat here? I play the Badger Bear over and just kill the Heimerdinger. Yeah, like this is going to be like my attack, right? And then force them, force the six six to either to block, you know, like the six six block the six five, this block the six two, and they would take eight. But I mean, I guess they could, I guess they could like bounce and other stuff. Um. Yeah, I guess that they have a bounce. Then they could bounce, and they could then they could have the six six block. Lux. Steal over sorcery. You can't outrun justice. This means they get to stay alive. I'm not attacking for lethal, I'll but I also. I also don't have Lux die if something bad happened. You know, they just have, a, you know, a, you know, one of their many recall or stun cards. What if it's twin discipline? No, if it was if it was twin disciplines, they would have just played it last turn, right? If it's deny, it could definitely be deny. So I'd go this, they go deny, and then what? Like I, I still block here and then chump block there. After wizard. 
Thanks so much for keeping the sub going after Wizard. 38 awesome months. No more holding back. All right, two and one. Should have definitely been 3-0. If I just knew how Vi worked, we would have been 3-0. and o. That's good. Man, well, I'm, yeah, super happy to have you. Oh, change the board, change the board, change the board, change the board, cancel. Ooh, that was close. Change the board to Bilgewater. Gucci uh, used the channel points to change the board. <laughs> yeah, Vita, 20, we, a 22-22, we killed it with damage. Yeah, like that That uh, four damage thing would have been lethal on it. If we actually killed it with damage. So we, yeah, we killed the 22-22 with damage. And we had a 10 damage thermogenic beam get denied. That was going to be against that card. Both of those things happened. All right, so we get to reface Vi Heimerdinger. These two cards are awesome if I draw Heimerdinger. I think we just kind of restart. Ugh, I want those other three mana cards. There's just not enough. There's just not enough burn around right now for Radiant Guardian. Like Radiant Guardian, Radiant Guardian would be a necessity if there was a lot more burn. There's just not very much burn. See, we got Radiant Guardian. What are you talking about? It's in the deck. <clears throat> that was the worst. This is the worst uh, five drop to hit. Oh, that thing had a barrier? I didn't pay attention. I was just kind of talking. I, I didn't pay attention. <laughs> Alright, well, that was dumb. I will play my part. That was a dumb attack. Imminently logical. The one unyielding spirit's fine. I don't think we necessarily need more. Strike for justice. I think the the one is perfectly fine. Grab some more water. Master. I'm gonna try to grab some water real fast. Ugh. 
keen invention to date. <laughs> No, of course. No problems at all asking questions. No, feel free to ask away. No problems at all. Yeah, I think the insider is is a good threat. It's mostly a, a six five for four. Progress waits for no one. So very big. Um, I've been happy with it. No, I could not kill by. Get Excited does two damage to it. Mystic Shot does one damage to it. So that would be three damage total. I think they have thermogenic beam. That's what it kind of feels like. Yep. No, the Heimer turrets are not random. There are different turrets that you get for different mana costs. So too are mages. Passing turn. Definitely going to be having protection for Vi. How it goes. I really wish they had something else. Like if they have lifesteal barrier, I really wish they had something else that I could fight with this single combat. Okay, they don't. Let's have these fight, take out Vi. I only get four damage in, but their champion's gone. Stop having more champions. We 
don't have the ability to play Lux and Grizzled Ranger together. Yeah, our deck's just more aggressive, um, and yeah, we, we don't do as good of a job. Dang. This is a good turn for them. We, Admittedly, we don't do a very good job protecting Heimerdinger with this deck. So the problem with me using Thermogenic Beam right now is that if they have something to pr protect their Heimerdinger, they get to get another 3-1 turret. These 3-1 turrets are a big problem for me. So yeah, basically it's it's by mana cost. Um, you know, if you play a zero mana card, you get this thing. You play a one mana card, you get this thing, and so on. So that's why floor begons are. Um, that's why three mana cards work so well with Heimerdinger. You get get the floor begons. If this was just Heimerdinger, I would be just attacking. The only holiday with celebrating. Man, I get to play that thing. They're not even tapped out. Not even close. It works. Not even close to tapped out. Nine cards. If they don't have deny, I'll be fine, but it's just do if they have deny, I'm in trouble. If I cast thermogenic beam right now. best option. I hope they don't have Deny or Will of Ionia. And that this resolves and we level up Lux. Like that, that's obviously what we're hoping for. cards. Should challenge that thing first. If 
like they kind of came close. Like if for some reason they just decided not to play this Apex turret, we could have had lethal. I don't know why they wouldn't play the turret, but if they just didn't play the turret for some reason, that's why I went. That's why I went with the the burn spell first. So I could have challenged both of those afterwards and had the, the eight attack. All right, that's a good card. Yeah, I, yeah, I really like. I mean, yeah, I really like Inserted Strike. It's, I think it's a really good removal spell. I'm a big fan of it. If all this resolves, we're in a great spot. If all this resolves. Good. We'll save Demacia from magic. Demacia doesn't need saving. Because that that five, you know, I needed that five mana to you can't outrun justice. Um to get another final spark. So I really wanted a I really wanted a four plus mana spell for Lux for final spark. I'm reading her is not very good with no cards in hand. Spent six mana to kill my three four. That's okay with me. I walk my path alone. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. Really want to draw another Heimerdinger right here. That that'd be my best possible draw. Well, never mind. I'm gonna say another Heimerdinger because that would be a progress day. That does not create a final spark. I think my opponent's gonna win this. That's what it's looking like right now. Yeah, they got this. How was their deep meditation two mana? Why was theirs two mana? They tapped out with Thermogenic Beam last turn. Why was there's two mana? Oh, because of progress day, it cost one less. Oh. Right. I was like, yeah. It's like we nerfed that thing, right?
define and contain. You don't know what you're doing. Nothing escapes my notice. Don't be calling no enforcers. Progress day. Not bad. Could be worse. Yeah, early on in the game, I, I made some mistakes, and it kind of got us behind, but the champions, the two champions, you know, their two champions, Vi and Heimerdinger, did great, of course. Yeah, we could use some more, I mean, again, I I didn't get full value out of all of my cards early, and so yeah, we, we ended up behind um, card-wise, definitely. My, my Remembrance was really poor, especially attacking into the 2-2 and just having a 5-3 for the Remembrance. That was really poor. All right, we see Unyielding Spirit for the first time. All right, Kordak. I'll see you later. The game would not be fun if you had 30 health points. This game would not be fun with 30 life. Instead of 20, the games would go so long. Like, it, like that's already, we've already been playing some really long games. We've, we played four games in an hour and 15 minutes. If you have 50% more life, games are just not gonna be ending. And it's just, and like early, basically early cards just wouldn't matter at all. Like you would just never play a 1-1 one -one because at 30 life, what's, what's the point? Like it just doesn't do any damage. And so all it would be is just all the, the biggest spells and everything like that. It that's That would not be an enjoyable game. Victory requires a sharp blade. You'd have to scale all the attacking things up. Mages can't hide from me. Winter, take you. Good combo. I see you have no alibi. Good combo. Good turn for the opponent. Up there in the mountains. So I want to save Thermogenic Beam for after Lux. Let the light guide you. Good job, Raspin. You finally hit Masters yesterday. Way to go. Good job. Many tribes under one banner. You can't outrun justice. 
Instant speed damage? I'm gonna have instant speed damage in their deck. It's probably just not worth attacking with the Lux. Just in case. It's probably just not worth it. Yeah, I think this deck's better than Chen Lux, yes. I think... Uh, I think very highly of this deck. Yeah, we could replace Mage Seeker Conservator if you if you want to. Pushing my limit. Shine with me. They replace the two of them with a Get Excited and a Prismatic Barrier. I wouldn't I wouldn't play Get Excited. I would play Prismatic Barrier and... Like, Prismatic Barrier is perfectly fine. Um, I don't think you want Get Excited. I don't think you want more discard stuff. Like, you don't really usually have the cards to discard. Um, I think you may want, like, a card draw spell. Like, maybe just a progress day. Um, or, you know, you, you could play, like, Eager Apprentice instead, as we talked about. Like, may, maybe they should just be Eager Apprentices that you can actually play on turn two and still play Remembrance on three. I should be doing the Thermal Giant Beam to the 5-1 because of Elixir of Iron. And then Final Spark to the 6-2. A beacon through the dark! Need my words. All the world on one arrow. This does let them draw a card. It's not like the 3-2 doesn't beat me anyway. So honestly, maybe I shouldn't be attacking with, with that. And as you can see, I didn't challenge. I did think that that, that last card was either Brittle Steel or Elixir of Iron, because otherwise there's no way that they play the Ash. But I, I just shouldn't attack with this. Because you, you just play the Ash post-combat. All right, so we're at zero out of six right now. Hmm. So no, I didn't want a single combat before Heim Reading or died because that would give me five mana for Lux. I wanted six mana for Lux. So I wanted a Thermogenic Beam. The two one's not very valuable that uh, Heim Reading or Manx. The second, yeah, like we only have one Unyielding Spirit in the deck. The second Unyielding Spirit, of course, we made with the Flash of Brilliance. Flash of Brilliance has been making some good cards for us with Demacia. Demacia has good six plus mana spells. You know, like, we, we did make a, um, we've done a four Demacia before, but, um, you know, like, back-to-back's, like, a good spell. Uh, what's, we did, we have made Remembrance. You know, that was one that we made earlier. That was good. So, yeah, we, we did go th three and two. The, the one loss was completely my fault that I just didn't know how Vi worked. Really should have been a four-one. Um... I just didn't, you know, I, again, yeah, I just didn't realize 
how Vi worked, because, you know, it's when I strike a unit while attacking, but so that counts the single combat, and so that dealt that five extra damage to me that was lethal. Um, and I could have I could have avoided it. I could have used uh, detain instead. Oh. So yeah, uh, the back to back nerf was a buff for Mage Seeker decks, wasn't it? Uh, I if I remember correctly, back to back was nerfed to six mana. It used to be five mana. It was nerfed to six mana before the Mage Seekers were a thing. So, like, the Mage Seekers were all different cards that didn't have to deal with the 6+. plus. Like, like this was, like, some unplayable 6-mana card. And so on. And so I think I think Back to Back was nerfed in, like, one... You know, that was one of the updates. And then after that, then the Mage Seekers were changed. Hybridinger is incredible. Yeah, this, this card is just amazing. So, yeah, it's, this, is, this is just a... It's just an amazing card. That's why it's in the list. <clears throat> but yeah, the conservators, they've been okay. they've been just fine at times, but they're not they're nothing special. And yeah, I could definitely see playing another prismatic barrier, um, or you know, or two. Like if you want to play one one more prismatic barrier or two instead of those, um, I would be happy with that. I'd rather play Prismatic Barrier than get excited, because yeah, that barrier does make Heimerdinger better. Yeah, I mean that's I'm yeah, I'd be I'd be fine with that. Um You know, you could again could have one progress day at the top end to try to get some get some extra card draw in here. The Dex already has a lot of expensive stuff. Um You know, that's either way. Barriers just Prismatic Barrier is just a good card. I think one get excited's okay. I'm I'm perfectly fine with one get excited. I don't I wouldn't I would not take out the get excited for a progress day. Um I know this Mage Seeker Conservator has has been good, but I think it was good for us like the last time that we played, like we played against like some aggro that it was good for us against, I believe. But yeah, we're we're really trying to remembrance right away. Um So how does this deck compare to Spooky Mage Seeker? They're real similar. This deck, this deck has a better, has higher upside because of Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger is better than anything that Shadow Isles has. You know, it's better than Thresh. Um, so like this deck, this deck's more powerful. Like when when Heimerdinger, when you get to play that and you have like when you have the Heimerdinger Flash of Brilliance combo and you're making three one turrets, um, you know th this deck's more powerful. But the other the other deck probably has um, So I don't actually maybe this one's a little bit better. Let's see. Like the other deck's a, a better Lux deck. This is a better Lux deck. Like you have these rekindlers, they keep on bringing back Lux, like that's so good. And you have better, you know, you have better removal with the Vengeance Ruination. Better early game with those things. Tracker Protector. They're real similar. This version's definitely better against aggro. This version here, definitely better against aggro. This this one. You know, how, how you have, like, all this stuff. Um... But then this one can just high roll more and have have even more power with Heimerdinger. Yeah, Conservator is very hit or miss, uh, but there are times that it's really good. Like I, I don't, I don't think like it just has to leave. Like, but maybe maybe you just take one out and just get a second Prismatic Barrier. Like the second Prismatic Barrier has got to be better than the second Mage Seeker Conservator. Raid. 
What's up, Saucy Mailman? And all the people in the Saucy crew. Ahoy! What's up, everybody? So we just got done playing some Mage Seeker Lux. I'm a big fan of this deck. I, I like this deck more than uh, Vimerdinger. I know Vimerdinger is the popular deck. But I think this, I personally think this is a better deck. Uh, but it also maybe just kind of fits my play style. Um, we went three and two. One of the losses was my fault, though, because I didn't realize, I didn't really realize how Vi worked, that if a leveled up Vi is attacking and you single combat it, it still counts as a strike, and so that it dealt five damage, and that killed me. Um, and I had I had detain. I could have used detain, but it's something that like afterwards you're like, oh yeah, that makes complete sense. <laughs> like after that happened, I'm like, yeah, that makes complete sense that it happened like that. Um, so yeah, could have been a four one. Um, but there we go. Um, but yeah, I think I would definitely take out one conservator for a second prismatic barrier. And then, you know, have this Conservator on the watch list of maybe replacing. All right, that's Mage Seeker Lux. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And uh, feel free to leave those comments. If you've been playing this deck yourself, let me know. Um, let me know if you think, you know, if you think it's also better than Vimerdinger. Am I crazy with that? You know, let me, uh, you know, let me know. Leave those comments. All right, but anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.